Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 best action movie remakes of all time. Motivations are everything, Will. What you see through the floor? For this list, we're looking at the most excellent action film remakes of other films. To be clear, we are a bit flexible with what an action movie is. As long as it contains some major action scenes, we're counting thrillers, westerns, and others. Also, we're judging on the quality of the remake itself, not the original or how good it is compared to the original. Lastly, we're excluding films that aren't remakes and only share common source material. Otherwise, Dread or True Grit would absolutely be on here. If there's a remade action flick you'd like to remake our list to include, take action in the comments. Number 20. Gone in 60 Seconds While the details of this remake of the 1974 film of the same name are a bit different, Gone in 60 Seconds still follows the same basic premise. Car thieves stealing roughly 50 cars on a deadline. Is that what you think I'm doing this? You uh, inconsiderate you, you, you want to park this space? Well, then you call mom and, and you explain her how you want to play a little puppy and get in her. The key differences involve the characters and the stakes involved. While the remake doesn't make a ton of sense, it does ratchet up the danger involved. With British gangster Raymond Kalitri's exacting standards in the cars and willingness to kill creating higher stakes. Find him, Atlee. Well, what if I can't find him? Then Big Brother takes the fall for the slip-up. Doesn't matter much to me. One rains is as good as another. It never rains, but it pours. Gone in 60 Seconds has a stellar cast and some good car chases. Critics may not have loved it, but audiences love a good car heist movie. Number 19. Ambulance This Michael Bay movie may be a remake of a Danish film from 2005, but like everything Bay does, he goes much bigger with it. Body's look how this looks. Okay. Look how this looks. Okay. Look how this looks. Just take one second in your mind to see how this looks. We gotta go. We have to go. Let's go. Right now. Move. Move. When two brothers join a bank heist to pay for one wife's expensive treatment, things quickly go wrong, leading to the pair hijacking an ambulance and taking several hostages. All of Bay's characteristic bombast is here, with chases galore and plenty of explosions and gunplay. But the performances are pretty solid too, with Jake Gyllenhaal being especially charming, if sociopathic. She did what she was supposed no, to do with the no, bad guys. No, then. no, we are not the bad guys. It is not that simple, Will. It is not that simple. We're not the bad guys. We're just the guys trying to get home. Ambulance is a wild ride with some terrific action throughout. Number 18, The Mechanic. A remake of a Charles Bronson film of the same name, The Mechanic follows Arthur Bishop, a hitman. It's gonna be a loss. More of a loss for you than me, buddy. It's a long time. After Bishop is forced to kill his mentor, Harry, he takes Harry's son under his wing and shows him the ropes of being an assassin. Jason Statham and Ben Foster deliver solid performances as the two leads. Meanwhile, the action is consistent with Statham's other films, but with some added twists, turns, and betrayals thrown in for good measure. Your reflections are going to want to shoot you in the face. You won't survive that long. You're a fool. You think you can get to me before I get to you? I already have. While the mechanic doesn't rebuild its source material from the ground up, it will still give you a great action fix. Number 17, Assault on Precinct 13. Based on the John Carpenter film it takes its name from, Assault on Precinct 13 features a similar plot, namely the eponymous police precinct being attacked. However, it's set in Detroit instead of Los Angeles and adds a new twist by having the attackers be corrupt police officers. So tell me why cops are risking their lives to get to you, Bishop. Why should I answer that question? Because I'm thinking about sending you out to the wolves and saving my own ass if you don't. Led by Lawrence Fishburne and Ethan Hawke, Precinct 13 has a strong cast. Additionally, the shootouts are exciting and the thrills and intrigue are fast and frequent. While it may not have the cult following of the original, this remake is still an excellent action flick. That was self-preservation, Sergeant. And it worked. I told you I'm not gonna change. Try to follow me. You'll find out just how true that is. Number 16, Dawn of the Dead. When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. A remake of the George A. Romero classic, Dawn of the Dead is also a zombie outbreak movie set at a mall, but features a more diverse, excellent ensemble cast and a greater emphasis on action. 
The writer and director combo of James Gunn and Zack Snyder is absolute dynamite, and the movie delivers the usual zombie apocalypse tropes with gusto and plenty of memorable set pieces, even if not everything about it works. It's everywhere! There's blood everywhere! Wait a minute. I see him. He's on the roof. He's writing something. What's it say? Dawn of the Dead helped revitalize the zombie genre, and it's often considered one of its best. <laughs> Number 15. The Mummy This remake of the 1932 horror film The Mummy sheds some of its horror roots to tell a rousing and crowd-pleasing adventure story. Like its predecessor, the Mummy follows a revived undead mummy named Imhotep, who seeks to resurrect his lover, Anaxunamun. Now this. This creature is the bringer of death. He will never eat. He will never sleep. He will never stop. However, the remake follows American adventurer Rick O'Connell and English siblings Evelyn and Jonathan in their battles against Imhotep. The cast is all phenomenal and has great chemistry. The humor is welcome, the effects hold up, okay, and the action is delivered with all the pulpy gusto that you just don't see anymore in film. I thought you said it was gonna kill him! It's just a terrifically fun movie that also happens to be a remake. Number 14, Sorcerer. Despite its title being entirely different, Sorcerer is frequently regarded as a remake of the French thriller Le Salaire de la Peur or The Wages of Fear. Sorcerer sees a group of rejects from all over the world end up in Colombia. There, these disparate characters take on a dangerous job, transporting sweating dynamite to put out an oil fire. We're carrying three cases each. One is enough to blow your fire. Six cases will blow out the whole field. That means you don't think all the trucks will make it. One of us is a backup. Pulsing with tension and danger throughout, with the threat of death from the dynamite and local bandits around every corner. Sorcerer is often seen as an underrated masterpiece that didn't get the attention it deserved when it debuted. Given that it was released around the same time as Star Wars, it's no wonder. Do you know Paris? I was there for two days. Huh. Very expensive. <laughs> so they say. Number 13, The Magnificent Seven. No, we don't mean the remake of this film from 2016, although that's also pretty good. Rather, the original movie, The Magnificent Seven, is a remake itself. We're here, my compadres and I. And here we stay. And you? You proved to us that you're worth fighting for. It's basically Akira Kurosawa's acclaimed epic Seven Samurai, but with cowboys instead of samurai. Even if you haven't seen the film, you probably know the story. Seven gunslingers are hired to protect a village from bandits. The cast is among one of the best ever assembled in a western, with greats like Yul Brenner, Steve McQueen, Charles Bronson, and Eli Wallach. And the gunfights are equally legendary. The title is apt since this is a magnificent film and certainly a stellar remake. The old man was right. Only the farmers won. We lost. We we'll always lose. Number 12, Insomnia. I'm not a murderer any more than you are. Well, then why don't we get together, you know, just just talk, have a few beers, whatever. Yeah, throw a little gas on the fire. Huh? Yeah. A remake of the Norwegian film of the same name, Insomnia follows crooked police detective Will Dormer. While investigating a killing in a small Alaska town, Dormer accidentally kills his partner. When the killer Dormer is investigating blackmails him to help cover up his own crimes, a psychological battle ensues between the two. I knew they'd connect me to Kay eventually. I could handle them. They never look in the eyes of a killer. Killing changes you, you know that. Al Pacino and Robin Williams deliver phenomenal performances, and the film is easily one of the most underrated by director Christopher Nolan. Insomnia is a brilliant, suspenseful thriller that will have you losing sleep over how good it is. Number 11, 13 Assassins. Goroju doi oi no kamisama gonai niyori. This samurai film is a remake of a 60s film of the same name. The story follows a group of samurai who plot to kill the corrupt and murderous lord Matsudaira Naritsugu, whose crimes have gone unpunished due to his connections. Their mission leads to most of their deaths, but before they go, they wreak some havoc with a bloody and brilliantly executed plan. 
The ensemble is excellent, the action is intense and incredibly violent, and the direction evocative. It's one of the most superb modern samurai flicks, remake or not. Number 10, The Italian Job. Do it like the Italian job. Based on the 1969 film of the same name, the Italian job follows a group of thieves looking for payback after one of their own betrays them during the titular heist, leading to their leader's death and causing them to execute a complex plan to rob the traitor back. Not bad, Charlie. Really, not bad. Though it features many departures from the original film, the remake features a strong ensemble cast with great chemistry, a healthy dose of comedy, some surprising dramatic moments, and thrilling chase scenes, all of which help make it a fantastic heist film in its own right. Now you joke. <laughs> Number 9. Cape Fear A remake of the similarly titled 1962 film. Cape Fear follows a defense attorney and his family as they are menaced by a convicted assaulter out for revenge against the man who landed him in prison. Could you be there? Could you be there? <whistles> Counselor. Though the original is an atmospheric thriller in its own right, the 1991 version takes everything up to 11, with a powerful and terrifying performance by Robert De Niro, an atmosphere so ominous you may have trouble sleeping, and an explosive finale. Cape Fear is a masterclass on how to craft a psychological thriller. A lawyer should represent his client. So jealously represent his client within the bounds of the law. And I find you guilty, counselor. Guilty of betraying your fellow man. Number 8. King Kong An update of the classic 1933 monster film, King Kong follows a film crew's exploration of a mysterious island and their encounters with many strange and dangerous creatures, including the eponymous giant gorilla, which they bring back to the mainland with inevitable results. But what is it? It's money and adventure and fame. It's the thrill of a lifetime and a long sea voyage that starts at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Visually stunning, chock full of fantastic action, and featuring Andy Serkis's second best ape performance, King Kong is a worthy successor to the original. Director Peter Jackson has often cited the first version as his favorite film, and his passion for the story is visible in nearly every frame. <laughs> Number 7. 310 to Yuma What do you want me to tell him? Revamping a classic of any kind is a tricky proposition, but these days, westerns are an especially tough sell. Released in 2007, 310 to Yuma is a remake that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that it can be done, and done well. Amen. Telling the story of a rancher who takes on the task of delivering a dangerous outlaw to the titular train in order to save his struggling family, this remake operates on an epic scale, while delivering intense gun battles and spectacular performances all around courtesy of the talented cast. Often overlooked, 310 to Yuma is a modern classic of the Western genre, and one well worth catching at any time of the day. I'd be disappointed if you didn't. Number 6. True Lies May I see your invitation, please? Sure. Here's my invitation. Here's one you may not have realized is a remake. Based on a French film called La Totale, True Lies tells the story of a seemingly ordinary family man who is, in fact, a spy and his wife, who becomes wrapped up in his life of danger and espionage. Next time, duck. Let's go. I married Rambo. While it is a bit hard to buy Arnold Schwarzenegger as anything approaching ordinary, this spy film is rife with twists and turns, solid laughs, excellent action sequences, and its lead actor's signature charisma and one-liners. You're fired. All in all, there's nothing false about it. True Lies is great. Number 5. A Fistful of Dollars you See, my mule don't like people laughing. It's the crazy idea you're laughing at him. Now, if you apologize like I know you're going to, I might convince him that you really didn't mean it. It may be one of the most celebrated westerns ever made and the film that launched Clint Eastwood to stardom, but A Fistful of Dollars is also a remake, and not of a western. It's actually an unauthorized yet surprisingly faithful remake of Akira Kurosawa's Yojimbo. When Joe, the man with no name, comes to a border town terrorized by two rival gangs, he decides to play them both against each other, while also saving the locals. This is all 
very, very touching. You mean you don't admire peace? It's not really easy to like something you know nothing about. While it may be a remake, A Fistful of Dollars has plenty to distinguish itself from its origins. From Sergio Leone's distinct visual style, to Ennio Morricone's unforgettable score, to Eastwood's gruff, iconic performance. It is one of the quintessential westerns that any fan of the genre must see. You mean the Mexican government on one side? Maybe the Americans on the other side? Me right smack in the middle? Mm -mm, too dangerous. Number four, Ben Hur. Yes, but how, Mazar? Oh, you can break a man's skull, you can arrest him, you can throw him into a dungeon. But how do you control what's up here? How do you fight an idea? Some remakes are so successful, they largely eclipse the original movie, as is the case with this remake of a 1920s silent film. When the titular character is betrayed by his best friend and forced into slavery, his quest to rescue his family and get his revenge make for one impressive tale. May God grant me vengeance. I will pray that you live till I return. A true classic of cinema, the movie features lavish sets and costumes, memorable performances, and indisputably, the single greatest chariot scene ever put to film. Ben-Hur is a grand, nearly biblical epic that helped define the genre. Number three, Heat. I do what I do best. I take scores. You do what you do best, trying to stop guys like me. Here's another movie you may not have realized was a remake. An expanded take on a failed pilot turned TV movie from 1989 called LA Takedown, Heat follows the intense leader of a group of robbers and the equally driven lieutenant who pursues him. Give me all you got! This and Give me all you got! It also depicts the collateral damage that happens when criminals and law enforcement clash, and the obsession that can affect both sides, isolating them from the people close to them. My life? No, my life. No, my life's a disaster zone. In addition to the electrifying performances of its two leads, Heat features several gripping and realistic run-and-gun action scenes that will have you on the edge of your seat. <laughs> Number 2. Scarface Based on a 1932 film that shares its name, Scarface deviates significantly from the movie that inspired it. But in doing so, it became an iconic film in its own right. So say goodnight to the bad guy! This cult hit gangster movie details the decadent rise and bloody fall of Tony Montana in the Miami underworld. Featuring perfectly crafted violence, commentary on excess lifestyles, and one of Al Pacino's best performances, Scarface is a powerhouse of a movie, with countless iconic quotes and scenes. This country, you gotta make the money first. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power, then you get the woman. Its impact on popular culture is anything but little. Say hello to my little friend! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Departed We have a question. Do you want to be a cop? I do want to appear to be a cop. In keeping with the trend of great mob movies that are also remakes, The Departed is a retelling of a Hong Kong crime film, Infernal Affairs. The Scorsese retelling sees an undercover cop sent to investigate a Boston crime organization who must ultimately reveal the identity of a mob man working undercover in the police. The struggle both characters experience with regards to loyalty, as well as their cat and mouse attempts to find the other, make for an incredibly compelling viewing experience. Are you, are you serious? With powerful performances all around, a myriad of themes, and plenty of twists, The Departed takes home the honor of being our top pick for the best action movie remake. I don't believe it. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.